If you have a flower bed that's in need for a makeover like this one, I have a really fun video for you today. I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to put in a new border for a flower garden or even make a new flower garden with a no dig border. So let's get started. It all just goes away. The things I plan to say. Oh baby. Hello my crafty friends, it's me Lisa, the DIY Diva, and well, this is the flower bed that is in front of my house, and I think it's pretty evident that it is in desperate need of a makeover. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and I thought I would take you along the journey with me and show you how easy it is to make over a flower bed using just a few things, and there's no digging involved. Now, if you want to create a no dig border, it really isn't that difficult. You just have to figure out where you're going to be putting your flower bed. For me, I'm making over this flower bed that's in front of my house that I already have. And I know this part isn't really necessary to show you how easy it is to make a no dig border. But in case you are like me and making over something that you already have, I thought this might be a little bit interesting for you. So this flower garden is original, I believe, from when we bought our house. The people that had it before us put in this flower bed and they made sure it wasn't going anywhere. The landscaping timbers that they used, they used rebar down the center of them, probably two and a half feet deep with the rebar. And I needed to get that out in order to do my no dig border. So this is the process of basically just destroying the border that's already there so that I can put in a easy no dig border that will look so much better. And I already had a lot of mulch in here. So what I did was just push that up against the back end of the flower bed. And then I loosened the soil down around the bottom edge. The flower bed I'm going to be making is gonna be a little bit wider than this one is. So I'm just loosening up that soil because I wanna make sure I have a nice flat and even surface. And this is what I ended up with while I was getting ready to create my border. Now these are retaining wall bricks from Home Depot. These are the larger ones. They come in two sizes and they were $2.48 a piece. And to keep those blocks in place, I'm going to be using this no dig edging. This stuff is awesome. I found it at a thrift store for $14.99. So that saved me a lot of money. So the first thing I did was place a couple of the retaining wall bricks in place because I want to figure out where I'm going to be putting this no dig border. Then I just used one of the blocks just to kind of secure that down in place while I unwrapped that edging. Now, if you get an edging like this, they also come with some spikes that you can secure the edging down into the ground. They don't come with a lot, so thankfully they do sell them separately. It would be really nice if there was enough in there to put those little spikes all the way down the edging for all of the holes that they provide. Next, I took a stick and I placed that into one of those holes. So what I'm gonna be doing is wrapping a string around one end, and then I'm going to be taking the other end down to the far end of the flower bed. Then I'm just going to use some string. I had black, somewhere we had pink string, which would have been really nice because it would have been easy to see. And then I just unrolled the string string or twine, whatever you want to call it. And I did this because I wanted to make sure that I'm going to be keeping my line nice and straight. The width of my flower bed is 32 inches. And I did not show that, but I, but I did measure that off just to make sure that I'm 32 inches away from the back end of the flower bed to the front. Then I took another stick. It's like a metal rod actually. And I secured the string to the other end. And this will help me to keep that no dig edging straight as I lay it out for the flower bed. And I think you can see that string there and I'm just unrolling the edging and taking it all the way down to the other end of the flower bed. And you can also see I have all of those retaining wall bricks laid out already because it's a lot easier to just grab them than have them in a big pile. That's far away because then you have to walk to the pile to get the bricks as you're working on the edging. So 
So once I had my edging all laid out, then I just followed the string and I used some of those spikes to hold the edging in place as I worked my way down the flower bed. And I think you can see that my flower bed is extending out into the grassy area, which is what is so nice about this type of an edging is you don't have to dig anything out. You can lay this out how you want it to be. And then I'm gonna show you how you can make sure that it's gonna stay in place. That's the next step. But I just continued working my way down that no dig border and securing it in place with the plastic spikes that came with it. And then once I was sure everything was straight, I went back with a rubber mallet or a rubber hammer and I just hammered down all of the spikes. And this is what it looks like. It's all in place. It's nice and straight. So on to the next step. Now the next step is the fast setting concrete mix. And this is by Quickcrete. I got this at Home Depot. And for my project, I got three bags of this. So first I'm just going to dump out that concrete mix along the edges of my border. So this will be on the inside of the flower bed if you're doing this project. And I literally just dumped the concrete so that it would form a line right at the edge of the no dig edging. Now, if you're doing this, it doesn't have to be perfect in this step. Next, I went back to the one side of the flower bed and I brought the concrete mix all the way to the edge of where the flower bed is going to begin. And what I'm gonna be doing is setting the retaining wall bricks on top of this concrete. So this fast drying concrete is going to be like a base and it's going to keep everything nice and level as well as permanent for the flower bed. Then I just started laying out the bricks. Now a fun fact with retaining wall bricks, they have kind of, they have four sides, but one side is shorter than the other side. So if you are doing a project like this, to keep the bricks in a line, you just alternate which side is out front. So for the first brick, it was the long side was out front. And for the second brick, I have the short side out front. And then you just alternate that pattern as you go along with your retaining wall. Can you see what I mean? That will give you a nice straight line of the bricks without any gaps. So once I had the one side done, I did go ahead and start my wall or start my border. And again, I'm just alternating the long side and the short side of the retaining wall bricks that's going to be pointing out. And I was so excited, I just had to do a couple of them. So then I went back with two more bags of the concrete mix and just poured that out along the no dig border edging that I'd already put down.
Now, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect and you have little hills like I do, because you're going to go back in with your hand and you can level everything out. One thing I did forget to mention in the beginning of this video is I would highly encourage you to wear some sort of protective gloves for your hands. Number one, the retaining wall bricks are very coarse, but concrete mix is not really great for human skin. So it's a good idea to wear some kind of glove while you're doing a project like this. And once I had the concrete mix all smoothed out, then I just went down the line, putting each of the retaining wall bricks in place. And I put them right up to the edge of the no dig border. Now, once I got to the other end of my flower bed, I took one of the bricks and I just wanted to use the short side so I didn't have to cut it. Then I had a taller piece of granite and I put that in the back. And this is what the end result looks like. Oh my goodness, isn't this pretty? And I did have a few extra retaining wall bricks. So I just put those on the short side that's next to our driveway. And once I had all of the bricks lined up, then what I did was went back into the flower bed and I just pushed up the remaining concrete into the back of the bricks. I really wanna make sure I get a little bit of concrete a little bit higher up onto the edge a little bit so that when I get this wet, it will help to keep the retaining bricks in place. So any of the excess concrete, so any of the extra concrete, I just made sure to fill in right at the bottom edge of the retaining wall bricks. And then using a sprayer on the mist setting, so it's a light stream of water, I got all of the concrete wet on both the front and the back of the retaining wall bricks. This will help to set that concrete mix and it will become a permanent flower bed. And this is the end result of my no dig edging flower bed. I am so happy with how this turned out. It is beautiful. And this is something you could easily do in a weekend. Like I said, my flower bed is 40 feet long and 32 inches wide. I used 36 retaining wall bricks, 43 feet of the no dig border and three bags of quick crete fast drying concrete. So my total investment in this project was $125 and I think it was completely worth it. Well, I hope you liked this video and if you want more like this, go ahead, click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.